In today's video, we'll see how to reuse a broken laptop screen to make a false ceiling light panel. So without any further ado, let's reuse something. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, who is one of the best PCB manufacturer in the world. You can place your first order for free, just visit PCBWay.com, upload your Gerber file and get your PCBs sometimes even within a week. PCBWay is known for providing high quality PCBs at a very affordable price. So go and check out their website, link is in the description box. To make this, we need a broken LCD panel with the LED backlight. You can tell its type by searching its model number or by a ribbon cable which is usually on the right side of the panel. Then we need a 12V 1.5A power adapter, panel mount DC jack, 150 ohm and 100 ohm resistors. You can calculate different values of resistor to drop down the voltage from 12V to 5V by using voltage divider formula. Once you got all the things, it's time to find 4 different pads labeled as PWM, BL underscore EN, VBL and ground. The names may vary a little so I will leave a list of names in the description box. Now it's time to solder some wires. First I soldered wire to the PWM pad which is a signal to request for required brightness. In our case, it is a solid 5V which means full brightness. Next I soldered wire to the BL underscore EN which also requires 5V to enable the LED driver. You can find the link to the circle diagram in the description box. Next I connected wires to the pads named VBL and ground which further will be connected to the DC jack. Then I soldered 150 ohm and 100 ohm resistors in series with DC jack. Next I secured the resistors on the back side of the panel with an electrical tape. After that I connected one end of the wire to the middle of the two resistors and other end to the bridge between PWM and BL underscore EN. Before testing the panel I secured the wires with an electrical tape because these pads can tear off easily. After testing I removed the LCD layer by cutting its ribbon cable and by unclipping the metallic bezels. Similarly, I prepared 3 more LCD panels and made a frame from an aluminium U channel. After inserting all the panels into the frame, I applied 2 component epoxy, one at the corner and one in the center of the frame. Next, I had 3D printed some parts in which one of them is to connect the frame to the fan pipe and other is a box to contain power supply and leftover wires. In the end, I secured the panel to a fan pipe with a nut bolt and then I wired the power supply to the main supply. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and learned something new, then do share and hit the subscribe button.